The handgun sights come in all shapes and sizes, and I am not particularly a fan of the blacked out sights. That's the black front and the black rear sight. But today I'm gonna to take my little Smith & Wesson 422. I'm gonna show you how to fix that issue. Then we're gonna get out on the range and test it out. So let's go. What's up crew, it's Chris from Clover Tack and welcome back to the channel. I wanna address something right off the bat and that is my pinky finger, which I injured just a few days ago. So for several weeks moving forward, you're gonna see this little splint in the videos, probably see some weird, grips as well so pay that no attention hopefully everything will heal and we'll get back to normal soon enough now i want you to hit me up in the comments below and let me know some of the things you've used to add contrast to your front sight over the years i've used things like white out model car paint nail polish and even crayons but a few days ago i ran across a sharpie paint marker and i thought you know what this could be a really cool way to add some contrast to a blacked out front sight. So I picked up one of those and took my 422 Smith & Wesson. After shaking that paint marker up, it worked really, really well. It applied really evenly, really easily. Looks to be pretty visible. So excited to get out on the range and see what kind of difference it really makes. Before we move into any live fire, safety is always first. Got my eyes on, my ears in. Let's do this. So here we've got my Smith & Wesson 422. Got that black front sight painted white. Five rounds, we're gonna go 10 yards onto six inch steel and see what happens. So that worked out pretty well. I'm really liking the contrast now between the front and rear sight. Same thing, Smith & Wesson 422, five rounds again, this time on paper, and let's see what happens. All right, let's go down range and see what it looks like. So here we are down range, point of impact, obviously just a little bit low, got a flyer low and way left, but nice little group there. And so I think the contrast is really working out well. So there you go crew with that little Sharpie paint marker, which I will link down in the description below. I did a really good job setting some contrast between the front and rear sight on my Smith & Wesson 422. It might work for you as well. If you're looking for more videos on sites, well, I got them loaded right over here. As for this one, we're done. So thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. And until next time, don't forget to chain fire freedom.